Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to program an AT Tiny with an Arduino Nano. Now before I start, I'd like to thank everybody who voted for me on my Instructables contest because, as it turns out, I won. And I won this Instructables t-shirt as the runner-up. So, for those of you who don't know, I also have an Instructables account where I post additional instructions that complement some of the videos that I make. So if you are ever need extra help uh, building one of my projects, you can always check that out and that'll be a help. So, let's get started. So, the humble AT Tiny is a lot smaller than its larger Arduino Uno counterpart, but it can do a lot of cool things. The only issue is, it doesn't have a USB port on it, so you can't program it like one of these big Arduinos. But, using just this small Arduino Nano, some jumper wires, a uh, breadboard, and a small electrolytic capacitor, we can program this from a computer over USB. So let's get started. Now I'm using an Arduino Nano for this project because it's very small and you can get these for a lot cheaper than you can get an Arduino Uno. So my first step is to take the breadboard and insert the Arduino Nano into the holes and make sure that there's one hole on e either side because you don't want to short the pins. And so now after you have it attached like this, you can add the AT Tiny. Now make sure this dot is facing upwards, because this dot symbolizes the top of the AT Tiny. So we're going to put that in the opposite end of the breadboard. I can then add a small 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor between reset and ground of the Arduino Nano. Now it's time to wire things up. You can start by taking a wire putting it in the 5 volt pin on the Arduino Nano, and then putting it towards the top part of the AT Tiny. You can then insert your ground pin by taking one, putting it right here, and then inserting it into ground. We can then add all of the other connections to the AT Tiny. So starting from this pin, it'll go from AT Tiny of this pin to pin 13. So we'll plug this one into pin 13, we'll plug this one into pin 12, we'll plug this one into pin 11, and we'll plug this one into pin 10. And so now after everything's set up, you can take out the AT Tiny because you're going to want to have it out while you're programming this. And then you can plug in the Arduino Nano into the micro USB port it comes with. And then you can plug that into your laptop computer. And then going to want to open up your Arduino program and get it all ready. And then go to Chrome or your web browser and you're going to find this link. Now this link is going to be in the description of my video. You're going to copy and paste this link into the Arduino browser. So go into File, Preferences, then this box down here and paste the link down here. Now click OK. And then you'll be able to go to Tools, um, Board, and then on the very top it says Board Manager where you click that, scroll to the bottom, and you should find a box that says AT Tiny. Now take this box and click the Install button below. This should install the AT Tiny board into your Arduino board library. Now when you go to Tools and Boards, it should come up with the AT Tiny series on the bottom. And so now, we're going to want to set up the Arduino board for programming. So we're going to go to um, Open. We're going to open up the program down here. This is Arduino ISP. And so we open up this whole program, and it pops up in a new window. And so what we'll do with this, it's a really long one, is we'll click on Tools, then set it to the board we're using, which is an Arduino Nano. And then we'll go back to Tools. And then we'll set um, everything right. The port is COM3, which is my USB port. And we're going to want to upload this program onto the Arduino. This will make the Arduino 
be able to be used as a programmer for programming the ATtiny. So now you want to plug the ATtiny back into the board. Now after this program is uploaded to your Arduino, you can then start a new program. I call this ATtiny test. And you can start setting it up for the ATtiny. So for the board, instead of Arduino Nano, we'll select ATtiny85 and go back to tools. Sorry, my computer's running a bit slow. And then set the internal clock to 8 megahertz. This will make it fast enough to run. And then you want to select the board as ATtiny85. And you're going to want to set the programmer as Arduino is ISP. And so now the first thing to do is to burn the bootloader. And it should do all these orange words down in the bottom. And at the end it should say thank you. And now your ATtiny has the bootloader on it. So now it's time to run a test on this uh, ATtiny. So I'm going to write a quick code. Okay, so now after your code is written, and I just made this really simple blink code for the um, ATtiny, then it's time to start testing it. So I'm using pin 4 on the ATtiny, which according to this schematic is this pin right here, right next to the ground. Now we're not going by the pins on the chip, we're going by the pins as they are right here. This is what the code sees. So when I'm going through pin 4, that's actually pin 3 on the chip. So I'll go to Arduino and upload the quick little code that I made, and then plug an LED in and it should be working. So now after the code is uploaded, you can see that the LED is blinking according to the program that I wrote. That's the end of my tutorial on how to program the ATtiny using an Arduino Nano. I hope this helped you, and I hope that you will be able to use this in your own projects. This um, programming of the ATtiny will become very useful in my upcoming video about how to fully automate your Christmas lights. So, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.